Hey guys, I hope you're all doing good. I wanted to notify you guys about a small correction regarding the stationary part. So click on it and then right click and select open part. Right, so this is going to open that particular part alone. And in the boss extrude 4, click on sketch 8 and click on edit sketch. So I've typed in the di dimensions incorrectly. This 55 millimeters should be 45 millimeters and this 115 millimeters should be 105 millimeters. So this is a small correction. It should be relatively easy to make. Please do that and save your component and use this modified dimensions for your assembly. So let's click on save changes here and it might ask you to update this component in the assembly. So click on yes for that as well. Hopefully you will be able to make that change easily. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we will be learning how to model the screw. So if I select my screw, you know, this is what we are going to be doing right now. And if you look at the top of the screw, you can see that it's a, you can see that it's in a hexagonal shape. So let's click on file new and part and click OK. And we are going to make sure that our unit system is in millimeters and we are going to be sketching on the front plane. So we will be starting by sketching the head of the screw. So we'll use the polygon tool and we are going to make sure that the number of uh, faces or number of sides is going to be six. So go ahead and change that to six and you can and then select the center and then drag it out and that is going to create our hexagon. Now we are going to select the top point and the origin and click make vertical so that we align it perfectly and then uh, click on one particular edge use the smart dimension shortcut s and type in a value of 10 millimeters now that it's fully defined let's exit the sketch we'll go to features extrude this and provide a distance of 20 millimeters all right so that completes the head of our screw so now we are going to proceed to model the remaining part so click on this face create a new sketch and use control 8 to view this in the normal direction. Now we are going to be using the circle tool, select the center of the hexagon and drag it out. And we are going to provide a diameter of 9.5 millimeters. So type in 9.5 millimeters for the diameter and then exit the circle tool. So now we are going to extrude this particular uh, circle by 175 millimeters and let's click OK. So all that we need to do is create the thread on this particular component so we have to thread on the outer surface of the cylinder so let's select for thread option you can see that the option is already there and uh, we'll first click the starting location for the thread so we're going to select this lower circle and for the end condition we are going to be using the blind option so the blind option basically controls the length of the thread so we are going to put in a value of 165 millimeters right so till the thread length is 165 uh, it's going to continue and for the size we're going to type in m16 into 1.5 which is what we provided in the initial video so let's click on ok and uh, this process is going to generate the thread now go ahead and save this as bench screw dot part and we'll see you guys in the next video